Hey, 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 this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different data science and analytics topics, uh, everything from open discussions to software demonstrations. Today, we're going to be talking about a commercial platform, and specifically, this will be a short video in TIPCO data science on comparing two or more groups in survival analysis. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to open, and then I've got um, my example data sets, and I'm going to go grab the heart data. Uh, so if I put H and the heart data, you can see here that I have um, 11 variables uh, or columns, and then I have 65 rows or cases, and I have some covariates. I have things like age, and antigen, mismatch. Um, I'm actually going to, my group that I'm going to do, my survival is, is actually the hospital. Um, the day that it was um, censored or completed, and then here's the variable to designate that. So how do we get there? We just go into the advanced models. We'll just look at this survival, and first let's just do compare two samples, all right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my variables. So on the variable here, I'm going to select uh, the survival, which will be this day variable that I was just talking about. And then the censored variable will be the censoring. And then the grouping variable, I'm going to group on hospital. So I'm going to click OK. And then I need to put in the codes for the censoring. So if I double click here in this white space, this is for the complete response. And here's complete. And then the code for the censored response here, again, double click. And then I get censored and click OK. Then if I click OK here, then I get a panel um, with my information in it. Uh, the variable for day is, is how many days or is the run out for time. Uh, it was censored or not censored. Groupings variable is the hospital. There were 44 valid observations. And you can see the percentages. If I want to look at the, you know, I can calculate any of these uh, tables based on the different uh, statistics, Gahans, Wilcoxon, Cox Mail, Log Rank, etc. I can do any of those and then it will perform the output. Um, I could also create two sample tests here. You can see what's available um, as an option here. We won't go through all of that unless you do that on your own. But I can create a plot. Um, based upon these two different hospital locations, Hillview and, and St. Andrews. And so I get the, the, the plot for the proportion surviving, or if I wanted to do the cumulative proportion, I can do that as well, and that gives me a visual. Now, if I want to calculate statistics for the differences within the group, I need to back out of the two sample test. I do that by clicking Cancel, and then this is the panel to select. I back out one more time. And then I'm here. And now I can do things like compare multiple samples. And if I click OK, this is going to allow me to go into the panel that will calculate statistical significance. So I'll click OK. And then there's my uh, statistical significance. Based on alpha 0 0.05, I would not reject here. The p-value is 0 0.10. Um, I can create... Uh, proportions here based on the three um, groups. I can do all kinds of things. We won't go through um, each and every one of these um, and even calculate the descriptives um, as well. And so that is that. And so again, I could do create all kinds of output uh, comparisons, um, all of these things. Uh, the other thing that I can do again, if I go click cancel and cancel again, I get back to the main platform. I can create live tables, Kaplan Myers, uh, etc. So there's a lot more that, that we can do there. And I'll probably include that in another uh, short video. So hopefully that was useful. I'll see you next time.